Isoliti Ignati, Isoliti Ignati. That's what the movie is apparently called, but in America it's called Big Deal on Madonna Street. Madonna's not in it. Ciao. Nate Jackson, Criterion Collection Reviewer Guy, back with number 113, Big Deal on Madonna Street, or E Soliti Ignoti, which apparently translates to Persons Unknown, I think. It's a translation. Directed by Mario Monicelli, our first in, I don't know, maybe our only. I don't know. I haven't looked him up. Haven't heard of him before, before this movie, and uh, kind of wish I had. This one's not bad. So let's talk about it. Uh, 1958, 106 minutes, black and white, Italian. Um, this one is about a bunch of weird, just a bunch of criminal guys. Uh, one guy gets arrested at the beginning, and so they think of this scheme. Um, while he's in, he gets this scheme um, to break into this, this safe in this apartment or this, like, place, and it has, like, all this jewelry or something like that. But he has to get out first. And so what he calls on his friends to try to, like, convince the cops that that they were the ones who committed the quote unquote committed the crime or broke into the car that he was sleeping in. And so one guy finally takes the rap for it, and then they both end up going to jail. And while he's there, he tells them about the plan, and so he finds um the guy who went in who went in to try to get him out, tells him, Oh, I was on probation. I got a year on probation. And he's like, Oh god, you bastard. So they go and he tells him about the plan, so they do all the research and all that, and they, it's like they got to go through this window and then through a coal, coal drawer or something like that and all this. And then they hire this other guy, this old safe cracker guy, to teach them how to get into uh, their, you know, different, way, different ways to get into a safe and all that. Meanwhile, while all this is happening, the group kind of, like, crumbles apart. Like, one, um, the main guy at the beginning who gets arrested is killed after trying to rob this lady of her handbag. Um, <clears throat> this guy who steals a, this one guy who steals a camera while pretending to have a fake arm actually gets his arm broken by the guy who, you know, saw he's, the guy who he, he stole the camera from. Um, this one guy falls in love with one of the other guy's sisters and, yeah, and so there's a whole, a lot of, lot of errors and all that, and so in the end there's only like four, well there's only like, I think six or seven of them at the beginning, but then there's only four, and they're like really like, kind of not even wanting to do the heist anymore, I think, I feel like at some point like, one of the, one, they, one of the guys, I think the boxer guy, there's a guy who's a boxer, and he goes and seduces like this woman whose apartment is next to the the safe and so they have to all I have to do is drill through a wall in the woman's apartment and and like it'll like go through the safe and they can just get it that way however he ends up falling in love with her and so you know that complicates things a little bit but in the end they still decide to do it and there's just and the final when they finally get to it that's when the hilarity you know just totally takes off they climb up a window, they have to climb on this, like, sky window, and then the lights pop on, and then this couple arguing for, like, hours on end, and they have to sit there and just wait for them to stop arguing, and then they finally, they finally cross the, the roof, and when they go into the coal, the coal drawer, they slide through the coal chute, and it's actually a sewer, it leads into a sewer, and all kinds of crazy stuff. They, they hit a water main while trying to drill a hole in something, and, and they throw a cat out of Night Porter and a lot of crazy stuff. And so when they end up drilling the hole through the wall into the, the safe, they end up drilling through an adjoining apartment. And then it's then that the boxer remembers that the maid said that they were changing the furniture around. So they had their plans all backwards now. So they end up just eating the person's food and in the apartment. And, and they, they kind of just... It just ends with them just kind of just giving up and just going home. And it ends with like a hilarious like paper article about these crooks who, uh, these persons unknown who broke into an apartment to eat their pasta. Yeah. It's a, it's a funny little romp. It's a little, little cute little movie. Um, about, you know, just a bunch of stupid bumbling guys, you know.
they're very, very, it reminds me very much a lot of like Home Alone, just like kind of the style. I mean, not obviously you know, not the story, but the style of the thieves, you know, very bumbling, very, oh, 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 you know. And that's it. That's about the size of it. Um, Monticelli's direction, he knows, I mean, I don't know if he's a comedy director or not, but he can do a damn good comedy, that's all I can say. Um, yeah, it goes on, I think for a comedy, it goes on a bit long for me. Um, but in the end, it's not a bad movie. I think some of the, some of the moments, I think, I think probably the weakest for me personally, and maybe I just need to listen, watch it a couple more times to get the humor, but I think the, the hard part for me was the, um, the safe cracker that was played by some guy named Toto, which I saw and I thought, oh, I got Toto's in this, this movie? No, not Hold the Line, not Georgie Porgy, no, not that Toto. So, yeah, so because of that, I, I'm gonna give it an A minus. It's not, not the greatest movie, but it's still pretty good. It's still very, very funny, had me laughing, and I might pick it up. I think, I think this one is still in print. Of course, I could, I'm probably totally wrong. And we'll get to, uh, I want to talk to you about out-of-print movies in just a second. Um, special features. Oh, we'll talk sooner than I thought, because I forgot. There's only the 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 trailer, the subtitle. The, I mean, the trailer as a supplement. And that's it. So, Big Deal on Madonna Street. A-. minus. Pretty funny. Check it out. So, next on the list. So, we got a bit of a, a bit of an announcement to make. Hopefully, this won't delay us too much. Next, number 114, My Man Godfrey, that'll be tomorrow, and then Rafifi, which this one is just the disc. I, I put a hold on a version that hopefully has the case for it, so hopefully I'll get that Wednesday, but the library is closed on Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving break. So if I don't get it before then, then we'll just watch this. We'll probably get to this one Friday, because I have work tomorrow. I would normally do this tomorrow, I mean, um, Tuesday. But we'll get to this one probably Friday because I have work. Maybe maybe for Thanksgiving. Maybe you'll get a Thanksgiving feast of Rafifi. I don't know. After that, we've got Hidden Fortress. And then uh, Diary of a Chambermaid. And then I think somewhere up here. Oh, well, somewhere in there I got. And then after that, Sullivan's Travels, which just happened to be on the shelf uh, yesterday when I was at work. And I was just like, oh, my God, that's the next one I need. Just grab it. And then, um, and then comes With Nail and I and How to Get Ahead in Advertising. With Nail and I, I was able to put a hold on it. However, and this is kind of weird. This is the first time I, I don't think this has ever happened. How to Get Ahead in Advertising wasn't a hold. I couldn't get a hold of the Criterion Edition. I couldn't get a hold of a normal version of the DVD. I couldn't, I can't even find it online. So this is one I may have to buy. Sadly, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping I like it because if I have to spend money on a movie and the Criterion Edition is only one copy on Amazon for sixty bucks, I am not getting that new. So yeah, I hope I like this movie because uh, yeah. So we're not doing the Criterion Edition, I'm ho and I'm hoping that there won't be too many supplements on it. I don't know. I should have looked before I did the review, but whatever. Anyway, that's it. So, yeah, the next couple we got squared away, but once I get to how to get ahead in advertising, we may hit a snag. There may be a delay if I can't get the movie in time. Um, but like I said, I've got a bit of a busy schedule, so we may be delayed for a bit. But My Man Godfrey is coming tomorrow. Um, Rafifi, yeah, may, we might get to Rafifi sooner, but probably that won't be until, until um, Friday. So, anyway. See you then. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Uh, don't be a thief. Don't be a don't don't drill into holes with kitchens and other apartments. And uh, yeah, and don't break into cars. And now nah, that's it. And we will see you tomorrow for my man Godfrey. Oh yes. Until then, goodbye.